Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show the latest enhancements to Microsoft List Forms or SharePoint List Forms. We now have new form customization options, support for additional field types, lookups, attachments, image, and more, conditional branching, improved notifications, and a lot more. So let's check this video out in action. Microsoft list forms are being enhanced with new features to help us collect data like a pro. In Microsoft lists or in SharePoint lists, when I create new list, now users can get started with a form without first needing to create a new list. As you create your form, the underlying list for collecting the responses will be created automatically behind the scenes. I'll create a travel request information list based on an existing list template. When I try creating an item, this opens the standard list form experience, which we can customize. However, the forms experience that we are focusing on helps us get specific details from people within our organization without overexposing our entire list and its details. Basically, when I create a form and when I send this form, whoever within my organization has access to this link will be able to enter data into this form without requiring any permissions on this backend list. Here I have a list called idea tracker. I'll head over to forms and create a new form experience. Here I can upload a logo, give my form a title, a description, frame the list columns that I would like to have as part of this form experience. I can hide columns, I can reorder columns, I can add additional fields and check out the full list of field types that are now supported. Image. When the end user is accessing the form from a mobile device, they can access the device camera to quickly take an image and upload. Location. Attachments. Users can upload files. And also, lookup column. The only catch here for lookup column is all your internal users who will be running the form would require at a minimum read access on that lookup list. Once you have your form ready, click preview. And this is what the end user experience is going to look like. Now this is one form that I created. I can create multiple forms for the same list experience, thereby collecting different pieces of metadata if required from different audiences. To share the form, all I have to do is go to send form, copy the link and share the link with my end users. If I explore the form settings, one of the newest features is notify me. I will receive an email notification for every new response that is submitted to this form. I can also specify a start date and end date. That's a time period in which the form will be active for end users to respond. Once a user submits their response, this is the message they will receive. You can customize this. And if the users try and access the form outside of the defined start and end date time period, this would be the message displayed, which can be customized. Plus, very soon, we will get an additional option wherein the form will only allow one response per person. Note, they can only create items, they cannot edit items. And now, let's explore the most requested feature for forms, which is conditional branching. 
So my organization is having an offsite event and I would like to create a form which every user in my organization can access and let us know whether they would be attending the event or not. I do not want users to have access to the list. I want to keep the information confidential. Let's create the form. Logo. Offsite event form. The title column, I do not want to show as part of the form, so I'll hide it. The first question I would like to ask is, will you be attending the event? Now this is a choice column. It's not a required field, so let's make it required. If they select no, then I would like to ask for the reason why they would not be attending. Reason is a multi-line text column. I'll make this required as well. If they say yes, that they will be attending, I do not want to show reason. I then straight want to ask them other questions like what is your preferred activity and so and so forth. Enter branching. Will you be attending? If no, I would like to take the user to the question, which is reason. Once the reason is entered, I don't need any additional details. I'll end the form right here. If the user says yes, I will take the user to preferred activity. So they can pick their activity of choice, dietary restrictions, and so on and so forth. Let's preview this. Will you be attending? This is required. If the user says no, then they have to enter the reason. Once they enter the reason and submit, their response is recorded. If they say yes, now notice how the other part of my form opens up. Preferred activity, dietary restrictions. Now, do you need transportation? This is a choice column. And based on the response, I would like to do conditional branching. Back to my form. Do you need transportation? If the user says yes, then I need the information of their pickup location. For that, I'll add another column in my form and I can do that directly from the form's experience. I'll go back to the designer. I'll go and add a new field. I'll pick the field of type location. I'll say pickup location, make it required. And this one, I will drag and place it right below. Do you need transportation? Back to branching. Do you need transportation? If yes, then I'll take the user to pick up location. If no, then branch straight to will you be staying overnight? Same thing here. Will you be staying overnight? If yes, then go to room preference. If no, then just end the form. And if room preference is shown, since it's the last question, the choices will result in the end of the form. Let's preview this. Will you be attending? Yes. Preferred activity. Dietary restrictions. Do you need transportation? If I say no, we'll straight out move to the next part, which is will you be staying overnight? If I say yes, I'll get the option for room preference. If I say no, I won't. Do I need transportation? Yes. Now I can enter the pickup location. That's how easily we can create conditional branching in our forms. I'll go to themes, give the form a different theme. I can also create my own style. Send form copy the link, and now I can share it with users in my organization. So I've shared this form with a user called Sarah. Sarah has the link, so she can use the form to create an item in that list. Sarah has no access to that list, and I'll prove it shortly. Will you be attending? Sarah says yes. Preferred activity, workshop, 
Do you need transportation? Yes. She submits her response. The list will now have an entry created by Sarah. And these are all the details that Sarah entered. Does Sarah have access to this site or list? Sarah tries to access the site. No permissions. If I give Sarah the direct URL to the list, she cannot see any of the data. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.